In 2004, at the Kitt Peak Observatory, Arizona, scientists spot a new and relatively small asteroid. It looks like it is on a collision course with Earth. It is called Apophis, and it's 900 feet across, around 10 times the size of the asteroid that created Meteor Crater in Arizona. At the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Dr. Richard Binzel tracks its trajectory. An impact the size of Apophis in terms of the immediate damage uh, would be regional, uh, roughly the size of France, uh, in terms of its immediate catastrophic effects. Based on initial observations, researchers believe it has a relatively high chance of hitting Earth in 2029. The asteroid poses a real threat. Binzel needs to discover what Apophis is made of. He studies the asteroid via a remote link to a telescope in the Mauna Kea Observatory, Hawaii. The instrument we're using is a spectrometer. The different minerals that are present in asteroids have very critical absorption bands, or very fingerprints, if you will, in, the, in these wavelengths of light that let us distinguish between different kinds of compositions, different kinds of minerals. No two asteroids are the same. Most are solid, but some are loose piles of rubble. The majority are made of rock, but some are composed of metals and other materials. Apophis turns out to be mostly made of chondrite, a type of rock. We think that Apophis is like this type of meteorite. It's an LL chondrite meteorite. And the beauty is that we can measure the properties of this meteorite in the laboratory. And if we scale uh, this meteorite up to the size of Apophis, which we think is about 900 feet across, the mass of Apophis is about 20 million tons. The energy that it would have if it hit the Earth is about 375 megatons, the kind of energy we usually talk about with nuclear arsenals. And that's more than 20,000 times the energy of the blast at Hiroshima. With the asteroid speed and orbit mapped, researchers can predict its trajectory more accurately. New data suggests that the 900-foot asteroid is headed this way in 2029. It will miss Earth by just 18,000 miles. A near miss in astronomical terms. But if Apophis had been on a collision course, what could we have done? The most obvious solution is a nuclear bomb. The theory is that a blast could shatter it into pieces. But this approach is risky. The blast fragments could continue on a collision course with Earth. And to make matters worse, they are now radioactive. Instead of eliminating the risk, a nuclear explosion could increase it. Earth could get hit by a cosmic shotgun blast, resulting in even more widespread devastation. One scientist alarmed by this scenario is Dr. Massimiliano Vasile of the University of Glasgow in Scotland. What could happen is that the shock wave uh, due to the explosion of the outer crust uh, fragment the asteroid. So it might be that basically uh, we have not just one asteroid uh, on the collision course with the Earth, but we have two or three asteroids. Scientists are racing to find a better solution. They have suggested attaching rocket engines to push the asteroid off course or even solar sails to pull it into a different orbit. These are possibilities, but they sound like the stuff of science fiction. Researchers are putting their weight behind a more feasible solution. Knock the asteroid off its collision course. The project's code name, Don Quixote. At the heart of the team is space mission analyst Chris Saunders from Kinetic Labs, England. We are simply going to try and uh, hit the asteroid and deflect it out of the way. The theory is that a powerful strike delivered by a probe 
could knock the asteroid off its course, like a game of cosmic pool. Don Quixote is a two-stage spacecraft made up of the impactor and the orbiter. The ion engine powers the orbiter to its target. Solar panels create an electric field which ionizes an ultralight fuel load of xenon gas, ejecting ions from the engine to thrust the craft towards the asteroid at up to 200,000 miles per hour. The aim is to catch the asteroid as far away from Earth as possible, so that even a tiny push will move it off course. The observer locks into orbit around the asteroid and guides the impactor to an inch-accurate surgical strike. It would move the asteroid's orbit uh, by maybe 50 to 100 meters. That would be enough for the asteroid to safely drift past the Earth. If astronomers locate an incoming asteroid early enough, Don Quixote might be able to deflect it. But it's untested technology with a huge margin of error. Most scientists agree a backup plan is essential. To defend Earth from an asteroid strike, scientists have an ingenious and radical approach. Use an intense ray of light to vaporize part of the asteroid's surface, creating a jet of gas that will move it off course. It's a good theory, but right now the only place Massimiliano Vasile can test it is in the lab. He uses the industrial laser lab at Glasgow University to gauge how much light energy it takes to move an asteroid. You can see the effect of the light of the laser that basically was burning the rock. Uh, this is what we expect would happen in space uh, when we focus the light of the sun on the surface of the asteroid. The effect that I obtain is exactly as if I had the rocket engine attached to the asteroid, uh, but the difference is that the engine is the asteroid itself. This is uh, in fact one of the most effective ways of deflecting the asteroid. 